Hey guys, Raffle Waffle here with another review. This time, it's of a retail game. Yay! I'll have more of these coming up, and this one's actually of a PSP game, which is pretty new. And as you can see by the title, it was Dynasty Warriors Strike Force. Dynasty Warriors Strike Force is an action game which takes a pretty big hit from Monster Hunter Freedom Unite, which is also on the PSP, and I'm sure you've heard of that one. So I'm just going to pick my character, Guts Lie Warrior. Please do not question the name. And we will start the game. So this is kind of the main hub world of the game, where you'll get all your goodies, such as Chi, which can boost skills, let you double jump and triple jump. Uh, you can get orbs which boosts your weapons powers, you can get new weapons if with if you have enough money and materials. Uh buy items such as meat buns which heal you while you're in battle. And after you finish doing all that you'll go into a quest, which I will in a second. Sometimes other characters can appear in the hub world, which is this the village by the way. And if you talk to them they'll give you their officer cards and if you apply the officer cards to the hub to the village it will boost the village's shops and things and make them better. So there's some interesting things going on. There can al there's also a child who sometimes appears who gives you free items and a panda who sometimes appears who if you give him an item he'll give you a random material but you never know what it is. So once you've got yourself boosted up you go into any quest that you have unlocked. You can do ones at your leisure by checking the notice board or if you talk to this dude you can do ones that actually are uh, significant to the story. The environments of the quests, they're usually changed a little bit, but they use the same sort of models and things, so they will get repetitive pretty quick. But the graphics in the game, I'll say now, overall, they're quite pretty. They aren't the greatest graphics on the PSP, but they do have a very nice style. So once you've gotten to a quest, this is what it looks like. You got your health bar, you have a main weapon and a sub weapon. And you've got several items which you can use, and you pretty much just go around fighting enemies and completing whatever objectives that are given to you for the quest. They usually melt down to killing some officer, and basically, most of the time you're trapped in a room where you have to fight enemies all and kill all the enemies to get to the next room. Uh, some quests are more interesting than others, but they all do boil down to pretty much the same thing, which is fighting these enemies. Luckily, fighting these enemies is damn fun. You'll be mashing just about every button on the PSP, going ape on all these enemies as fast as you can. And what I really like about this game, uh, compared to any other action game, is take a game as God of War, You basically what you do is you just stand in the middle of where all the enemies are and swing your blades around. In this game, you're very mobile, so you'll be dashing around everywhere, dodging projectiles, and then going in for the kill. So I like how mobile you are and you're able to move around the plays very fast and jump very high if you have chi equipped and unlike in other dynasty warrior games the enemies will not wait for you to attack them and also as you can see there is a targeting system in this game and for the most part it works quite well uh... it always tries to target the most threatening enemy which in the case when you're fighting an officer or a boss you usually want to target the actual boss instead of the enemy instead of any foot soldier who's near you so that can get kind of annoying but for the most part, it does its job quite well. And also not related, but uh, the game makes excellent use out of, out of all the PSP's buttons. They're all used for uh, various things. And none of the controls, the controls feel tight and responsive, which is really important in a game such as this. So I'd like to talk about customization, since I really never got to that. And it's a pretty big part of the game. When creating a character, you'll choose uh, a certain group of people and then you choose a character from there and then you name the character although the characters will always have a, their own names for example the character i'm playing as is guts Lior, but his actual name is gan ning and every character has one main weapon assigned to him so this character will have his dual swords those are his main weapon and every character uh, so for when you're upgrading your main weapon you can only use dual swords but every character also has a sub weapon and that weapon can be any weapon which offers a good layer of customization and these weapons can be powered up with orbs, which will boost not really the weapon stats as much as yours. So instead of just boosting the weapon's power, they give you power. And your chi pretty much does the same thing, except that it more gives you new abilities, such as double jump, uh, you get extra dashes, um, and things like that. 
The most advertised feature of this game is being able to pair up with three other friends and then go do missions uh, in a co-op. I haven't been able to do this because no one who I know has this game. However, if you can find anyone who does have the game, I highly recommend playing your missions with them because there is absolutely no balancing for if you're just going in alone. So if you are playing alone, this game is hard. One thing I don't like about this game is that as an unforgiving as you can be, your enemies can be just as unforgiving as you. So if you get hit once by an uh, a boss or officer, usually not a foot soldier, but if you get hit once by a boss or officer, they'll keep wailing on you, and, and for so long too. It can get very frustrating and annoying trying to beat some of these enemies, but overall the game is very fun. Another thing that I don't like is that in order to pause the game, you have to go into a menu and then scroll to the option that says pause and in pause you still can't do anything that you would do in the menu so that's very uh, irritating the last feature of the game I want to talk about is mode called fury mode so after hitting an enemy a lot you, your yellow bar below your health bar will get filled up and pressing circle and triangle at the same time will activate fury mode which is pretty much the dynasty warrior equivalent of super saiyan and when you're like that you're crazy as fast paced and chaotic as the combat usually is, it's at least twice that when you're in the fear. While in fury mode, if you hit circle and triangle again, you can do a musu attack, which pretty much makes uses the last of your fury power into one big devastating explosion, and the attacks change depending on what weapon you're currently using. And after using a musu attack, you will be revered back to normal state. And the very last thing I'm going to talk about is sound. So, if you like the usual music in Dynasty Warriors, the over-the-top guitar wailing, you will certainly not be disappointed with this game. And the music is good quality and certainly fun to listen to. The sound effects also sound appropriate. You have your metal playing against metal, uh, your enemies' grunts, and things like that. But they're not really anything amazing. So I believe I've talked up on just about everything I wanted to, so there you have it. That's my review of Dynasty Warriors Strike Force.